afternoon. Well, 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 Lionel. Your constable shrunk a bit, hasn't he? Who's gonna protect you now? You best clear off! My friend's going to settle your hash! Oh, are you? You heard, Lionel. Clear off! Ah. You better not be here when I get back with my mates! That was incredible! Thank you! Oh, I hope you can handle yourself as well when there's more than one of them. There's a bastard. Get him! I knew you'd come back! Help me! Back for more punishment, are ya? That was incredible. Inspiring. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. Or you can open just about anything mechanical with this. Morning. Come again soon. You never know when we'll have something new. Hasn't changed since old George V.
Are you Fanny? What if I was? I'm looking for Edmund, the butcher's boy. He's late. He's always so punctual. Someone saw him going into the alley. You know, the one that always smells like cheese. Did you look for him? I'm not going back there. That's where the ploughboys convene. The street gang? Oh, dear. I have a terrible feeling he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and see if I can't straighten things out for him. Hey, leave him alone! Hey, fuck off. Why don't you pick on someone who can defend himself? Why the fuck would we do that? Oh, it's Arthur Hastings, Miss Victoria's pet. Boys, this is our lucky day. You bring me down! <laughs> Well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. You're right. My legs won't walk. I, I think they're broken. Did the ploughboys say why they were hurting you? They said they were having their fun. Here, I'll take you to the pub. They'll get you a doctor. They know me there. Sometimes they give me treats. I don't want to be a meat boy anymore, Arthur. Do you want me to tell the butcher? He'll be mad that I didn't deliver the packages. Do you want me to deliver them for you? You're good, Arthur. Percy always said so. I bet he'd let you be the new meat boy if you wanted. The, the packages always say where to go. He writes them so we don't get lost. Arthur, d d don't leave me here. Do you remember Percy? Of course I remember Percy. He's my brother. It's just people forget things. Oh no. Miss Victoria said he was dim, but he wasn't. He was smart. And he never lied. Most people lie all the time. Did you know that? Arthur, d d don't leave me here. Yes, I'm afraid I'm one of them. But you're good, Arthur. Percy said so. I'm gonna find him. I promised I'll take care of him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere in Germany or Russia. Is that very far away? Yes. Is it very cold there? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Are you okay, 
take your joy immediately. Yeah. Arthur, get away Arthur. From Arthur. Say good night. Look, you will take your joy. You will take your joy immediately. I see you. You're coming with me. You're only making it harder on yourself. You won't get away with this. This to you. Was it a play, boys? Do fuckers or kill him? You're a decent sort to bring him in. We'll take care of him, don't you worry. Here, have a drink on the ice. Lovely day for it. Do come again soon. We often have new stock. Lovely weather. Did you find Percy yet? I think I have a package for you. Yeah, this is it. Oh, lovely, lovely. Won't my man be pleased? It's so hard to find a decent cut of meat these days. About that. Where does he get the meat? Oh, oh, oh. transubstantiation, I hope. 
<laughs> Thanks so much and have a lovely day. Dear Jack, there's a stranger in my house. And she's my wife too. What has been done in my real life? Your joy in me. There's a stranger in my house who looks just like my wife. You can take your joy in hmm. I don't know whether to think about him in the present tense or the past tense. I've got your package. You are a dear. And here's a package for the butcher. Am I supposed to pick something up? I found some mushrooms in the attic. I'm pretty sure they're edible. And a tin of axle grease. And some V-meat. I won't eat it when it goes off like that. What does he do with all that? Oh, that's his special magic power. He makes sausages out of the most atrocious things and they taste wonderful. I'm sure he'll give you one. It's how he pays the deliveries. Well, that's something to look forward to. Then it's where it should be. Illusion that it's not unheard of. Remember the train, Arthur. here with the minimum of fuss. Just looking.
It's been a hard day's night, that was. Sorry about the wait. Oh, that's a relief. And this is for him. Mushrooms? Oh, no, dear. I supply him with the very freshest meat. Anyone can put a trap where they like to run, you see. But they won't go for V-meat anymore. I make it smell a bit rotten. They run right in. Can't help themselves. I'll bear that in mind. I hear he's open to... new sources. New... sources? Oh, Never mind. I'll just ask him myself. Brilliant. I'll just take this back to him. I'm off to see the butcher, the wonderful butcher of ours. nutritional horizons. You can eat a lot more things than you've ever dreamt of. Did you know you can eat lichens? Now I'm going to show you three kinds of lichens that you can fill up on. This is Hamontra pelata, your basic grey-green lichen. For some reason, it's also called black stone flower. In India, it's called kalpasi. It grows on rocks and even stone houses. Or For you to uh, I don't suppose you have any exotic pharmaceuticals? The old top shelf? Oh, I might. I might. <laughs> oh, you should have seen me back in the day. I used to be the city's leading supplier of uh, top shelf goods. Before Verloc poached my top shelf girl, <laughs> I have been trying to brew a little something. I've an idea for an antidote for the fog. That would be handy. Thing is, I need samples. One from Amlin Village. One from the Garden District. Oh, I'd go myself, but oh, you know how it is running a shop. <laughs> busy, busy. Do you think you could get me some samples? Or I'd give you the recipe for me fog antidote, and, well, I do have a few bottles left on the old top shelf <laughs> from back in the day. Just take this device into a patch of fog and let it go all the way through its cycle. You might want to wear a gas mask. <laughs> so I just take this fog sucker into a patch of pea soup, wait for it to cycle, and then bring blood samples back to you. There you go. <laughs> a word to the efficient is sufficient. Let me see. How much is that one again?
Thanks. can see that there's nothing gone wrong in there. And then, we'll be on our way. Couldn't be better, thanks. I must ask you to kindly move along. This is a matter for the constabulary. They made you, they broke the mold. Thank you. 